In this video, I wanted to document and share a glimpse with you of what my experience has been like as a country club member for the past year, and also share with you how I think being a member of one has benefited my level up. I'll also share with you a few of the cons of being a part of a country club because I do like to keep it as real as possible, and I think sharing the reality from my personal experience may be helpful just to show you and also document for myself how we can overcome these challenges. Country clubs across the US provide a private, members-only space for sports and social activities, primarily golf, tennis, and swimming, and usually a fitness center. There are also areas for dining and event spaces available only to members. Usually, the top clubs require knowing someone to recommend you for membership. This was our case. My husband has quite a passion for golf and is a serious player who plays almost every weekend. That cost can really add up, so when we realized that the club in our area of town cost monthly really close to what he was already spending for golf, we decided to join as soon as possible. So I'll admit that we joined at a strange time to be participating in social activities. It was the beginning of the spring in 2020. However, golf was one of the only activities that stayed open and remained open for the duration. So I do feel like we still benefited a lot from joining when we did, and I'll share more about that as I go throughout the rest of this video. To start, here are a few of the benefits that we have experienced that I want to share with you. I'll start with my husband first. So my husband has had the opportunity to be on the golf course almost every single day of the week, whether it's hitting up the driving range to practice his swing or play a full round, he can take full advantage of that every day. Whereas before he was driving to a lot of different courses and areas based on when they were open, what the conditions were and spending money there to hopefully be able to get a good round in. It was actually quite time consuming, much more so than we have the convenience being so much closer to this club. I will also say that not only has his golf game improved because of that, but he has also had the opportunity to make some wonderful social connections. These are people who are business owners in our town. They are also successful in their careers across a variety of industries, real estate, medical. Um, they're also in insurance sales and lawyers. Those types of people really abound at the club where we are members. One of the other things about golf that is important to know is that it's very social game so you can maybe not be great at golf but you may meet a lot of other people who enjoy playing around on a Saturday you know on the weekends and it's really easy if you frequent the same course to start to make connections. For me, I will say that has been a bit harder to make social connections. When we joined, it was a few months before I really started to focus on leveling up, looking at elegance and poise. In fact, joining the country club is what led me down that path because I wanted to learn all about this world that we had stepped into. When we joined, it was something that I supported because it made my husband happy. He was really passionate about golf at the time. And I also saw that there could really be some benefits from us being able to surround ourselves with these this level of, of, of people and just the environment as well. For all of 2020, the only activities that I was really able to take advantage of were, was working with a personal trainer, doing outdoor workouts for the first half of the time. And I was also able to visit the pool every now and then, although things were just very restricted. We were able to take advantage quite a bit of the takeout service from the restaurants, but for a good while, the dining in situation was not ideal for socializing at all, of course. As of a few weeks ago in our area, the club started to return to its normal operations or as close to normal as you can be considering. So I've been starting to attend some of these studio classes at the fitness studio. I've been able to start to think about going to some of the events they put back onto the calendar this summer. So I'm starting to see where just by showing up even to yoga, yoga classes regularly, I've been able to start to see some familiar faces and a lot of the ladies are just really lovely. We really also enjoy the food at our club. All in all, the prices are very comparable to a night where we would dine out at one of the local restaurants and having the ability to catch a reservation here is so much 
easier. It is a lot less stressful because we live in a tourist town. So during the summer, especially when it's really hard to get reservations at some of those restaurants, we're able to very easily as members step into a very nice restaurant here at the club and enjoy a nice dinner. The final benefit that I will mention about being a country club member that I've experienced in the past year is being able to use your membership to entertain guests. So at first we were only able to to have our immediate family members as a result of everything going on in 2020, but now we can have more guests at the club and enjoy entertaining them there. So this could be very beneficial if you are a business owner or you're looking to make more connections. You've made a connection outside of the club and would like to entertain your guests. It's just a very nice way to be hospitable and continue to further those connections with people. Now let's talk a few of the challenges and the cons that we've experienced because unfortunately those do exist. There's no perfect situation out there. First, I have to speak on the cost, of course, because I'm sure you've been wondering throughout this video, how much does it cost me to be a member of a country club? And I will say that the club we're members of is one of the nicest in our area. It has many amenities. So it not only has golf, tennis, pickleball, there is a full on gym and fitness studios with a wide range of classes. There is a pool, a very nice nice resort style pool with dining service as well and they also have a kids club plus a few different restaurants to choose and select from two clubhouses that are event spaces so there there is really a lot of the amenities that you forget about and so what we originally did was we decided that okay we're already spending you know x amount on these activities to begin with let's go ahead and compare what we're getting for what we're spending. I think that you really need to consider that based on a club that you are looking at joining. For us, we decided that it was worth it and it really has been. We enjoy it quite a bit. We don't regret the decision to join at all. Now, one thing you may consider is that Finding a club which offers a junior membership if you're under 40 may be a really nice thing to take advantage of, especially if you're a couple and you, you have the ability to afford the any initiation fees or dues. Sometimes those are discounted for junior members. I will also mention that just by surrounding ourselves in this environment, I feel like it has allowed us to grow a little bit more, to open up our perspectives to what's possible and to, to just meeting a lot of lovely people. So it's really nice to be able to be in that environment as we work on continuing our level up together. Now, another thing I will be honest about is that yes, it is true. You do run into some people who are just rude or really it's maybe that they've had a bad round on the golf course that day and they're in a really cranky mood, but it happens. I think that generally speaking though, the amount of people we've met like that are not really like that. That's just not quite the case. And I always try to keep a positive perspective and very genuine kindness about myself when I interact with someone because you just never know, right? You never know what's going on behind the scenes and that could just be their off day or something. If it continues though, of course, you do have to look out for that. But sure, I mean, no matter where you go, you're going to encounter rude people, whether it's in a high-end country club environment or it is at Walmart. Now, the last con that I will mention is really more so to do with, it's gonna depend on where you live and where you're located. In our area, we live in a smaller town and there are a lot of retirees because it is a beach town, it's warm for most of the year and that sort of thing. So it has been harder for us to find people who are our age, who are young professionals, who don't have children and are living in that stage of life like we are. I will admit though that I kind of enjoy getting to know older people. And I think there's a lot that you can learn from spending some time with people who are older than you and have lived a little bit more of life. 
However, it is nice when you can have some friends to socialize with that are walking through the stage of life you are. I definitely think that if you live in a bigger city and you're looking at a club, you're going to encounter more of the affluent young professional types. So you will probably enjoy that if you're a younger person like we are, if you're in your 30s, 20s, that sort of area. But however, Regardless, I still think that you know we've been able to meet and see people that are younger and that are maybe younger families. I've seen them at the pool. They are just not always the ones that are on the golf course every day that my husband's connecting with necessarily. I think that about sums everything up that I wanted to share and document about our experience as Country Club members for the past year. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support and especially look forward to connecting with you more. I wanted to say that if any of you are country club members or you've been thinking about becoming one, let me know down in the comments what your experience has been or what you're looking for in a country club. It's a really great way to socialize face to face with people in your community and most Typically, they are people who are on a successful path or have already been through that successful path that you are working towards yourself. So let me know what you think. I also wanted to quickly say that if you have requested to follow me on Instagram, please take a moment just to send me a quick DM. I really want to make sure that I keep bots and spam out of that account. That's why it's private. I share a few more personal things over there just whenever I can, can get around to it throughout my busy week. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't seen one of these videos here on the screen, I will let you go ahead and check those out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.